The staple offers a convenient way for WNL students, faculty, and staff to access a Windows desktop over the internet. You begin by entering the address thestable.wlu.edu into a browser such as Internet Explorer. You log in with your WNL network credentials. The first time you log in, you may be prompted to download some Citrix software used to run the stable. Accept the license agreement and download the software. It takes a few seconds for the Windows desktop to launch in the browser. And once logon is complete, I now see this screen with a display of the available virtual desktops. Announcements will appear here regarding uh, perhaps maintenance periods or new uh, desktops that are available. Your personal information is shown here. Uh, we're ready to get to work and pick one of these images. The uh, stable theme continues with the names of horses here that correspond to the various desktops that have been created. Let's pick the Saddlebred. Now I am running Windows virtually in a web browser. Notice the description of this particular desktop here. And this desktop is read-only. Uh, that is, it's similar to our lab images, our student computing labs on campus. Any data saved locally uh, on the C drive is erased whenever you log out. We have quite a variety of applications to choose from. All of the ones commonly found in the WNL environment, plus many discipline-specific applications, such as Art Store. Statistical applications, SPSS, and Stata. For now, let's just choose Word. As I mentioned before, you would not want to save changes to this virtual desktop uh, because data will be erased when you log out. But notice that in the Save dialog box, that we do have access to network storage. So I automatically map drives to my personal storage on the H drive, shared storage for the department on the I drive. If I were a student, I would see uh, the L drive here for coursework. Whatever network storage resources that I normally have rights to are going to appear here. Notice at the top this gray band-aid-like object, in fact the nickname is the band-aid, is a means for me to switch to the local desktop. So if I click here, now I'm back in, uh, in Windows XP, it's my local desktop. To get back into the virtual desktop, I can just click on the Citrix icon in the, uh, in the taskbar. If I were using a Macintosh, I could switch back and forth between local and virtual desktops using the keyboard combination Control-Alt. When I'm finished using the stable, it's important to log off. This is a shared resource, and so you'll improve the performance for other people if you do log off after you're finished.